Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about one of the pain points highlighted by someone. So sometimes what happens is top management just drops us an email asking for the list of incidents along with the list of SLAs. So sometimes the count is not equal in both the list because uh, of couple of reasons. One such reason is that SLA uh, was not attached to that particular incident. So it is not there in the SLA list but it is there in the incident list for that particular week or a month. So today we will see how we can figure out those records uh, which are not present in both the lists so that we can easily create a report and uh, state the reason that, that this is the reason because of which this particular incident is not present in both the lists. So let me just open the incident list over here. I'll give a condition that the record created on this month. So we can see that there are a total of 891 records. Now let me just open my SLA table as well side by side. So here also I'll add the similar condition. So created on this month. So after the giving this condition, I'll just go by the task records because records are present both for response and resolution. So here I can see that there are a total of 889 records, two records are missing from this particular list. Now it becomes difficult to find those two records in such a big list until and unless you are an Excel expert to figure out those records. So what I am going to do is, I will write a background script to figure out which two incidents are missing from this list. because even I am not an Excel expert. So my table name is task underscore SLA. I'll write one encoded query. And I'll copy my query from here. Now I'll query this particular table. And I'll loop through it. I'll create a variable here named records. Now what I'm going to do is I'll create a string of incident numbers over here. So I'll just fetch the incident numbers over here so that I will have the unique count. So I will fetch those details from here. So records is a string 
which contains all the incident numbers from SLA table separated by a comma. Now what I'm going to do is I will look through incident table and I'll copy my query from here Again, I look through the records. Now, I will check whether the incident number present in the incident table is part of the list or the string which I created earlier or not. So, I will check with records dot contains. inc dot number since name of the field is number if it is not there I will pin that particular incident number into the logs So let's see if this works out for us. If not, we will have to figure out something else. I'll learn. So these are the two incident numbers which are not present in the SLA table. So let's see why these two incident records are not present. So I'll search here with the incident number. What is the specific reason? If I open this particular incident, so it is taking a bit time. Yeah, it is open now. So we can see that SLAs are not attached to this particular incident. That is why it was not part of the SLA list. So this is one way in which we can figure out the difference in counts between the two lists. There are a couple of other ways as well, but if you, somebody wants to do it via the background script, this is one of the convenient way I sometimes use. And this gives us a good count and the exact count of the incidents which are not part of either of the lists. And it helps us in explaining why there is a difference in counts between both the lists of records. Thank you for watching and if you guys have any of the pain point which you want me to create a video on just let me know in the comments and uh, I'll create my next video or I might create my next video on the same pain point who knows thank you for watching bye bye